everybody and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. So in the last video we just had our huge, like, swarm of boom rats who came and uh, assaulted our base. So that was actually a pretty hectic thing that happened and then we had a number of small attacks afterwards until we got some additional scythers that came and attacked us. So the good news is we got a lot of scythers to make some metal out of. Of course, Sass is also getting additional metal by using the slag refinery or whatever it's called. Uh, it is the slag refinery, right? Yes, indeed. Which is very important because as you may remember in the last video, we are almost completely out of the metal or mineral supplies that we actually know of on the map right now. Of course, there are probably more, but all the ones that we can actually visibly see, we're almost completely, uh, we've almost completely run dry. So that's very, very, very annoying for us. I can't believe, oh my God, these, these special colored lamps take an extra 10 metal. That is so unfortunate because that means the rave room is going to be even more pricey than I originally thought it was going to be. But we'll get to that eventually. We just need to make sure that we could actually have a base that will sustain keeping us alive. Um, so that rave room can live on into all, all greatness, basically. Um, but yeah, so before too long, even maybe even once this slag uh, chunk is completely finished being... Uh, mineralized or whatever you'd want to call that we might go ahead and test out the machining table so let's go ahead and see how much metal we get from that because I would really love to see that I was actually thinking about uh, how much we would get before so let's actually go ahead and have her dropping the we get over 80 holy cow that is awesome that is much more than I thought we were gonna get. I thought I thought the most we would get would be like 70, and even then I was really skeptical of that. That is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, so I am very happy that we be, uh, created the machining table because we um that that's gonna solve some of our metal problems. But the the unfortunate thing is that really I I, I shouldn't say that'll solve our metal problems because the thing is. The, the metal problems that we're going to have are going to be something that's going to um, actually appear in the long run. It's not an initial thing for us at all, because really, right now, we have all the metal in the world. We have all of that that we could use right down there. That's 21 different piles. Then we have 10 more piles up there, and then, of course, we have all the uh, metal that we'll get from machining and to the slag refinery. But... We don't have any new sources of metal to create or, or discover or anything like that. So let's see, once we finish mining out that area down there, which it looks like is about to be accomplished. Yeah, right there like that. Awesome. And we have someone visiting the colony. It doesn't really matter, of course, once again. But now that that's done, let's actually go ahead and um, basically finish up our kitchen. So what that means is we are going to get a wall going up there, get some wooden walls going along that way, going along that way. The, the kitchen is going to be a pretty big room, but that's going to be perfectly fine for us. It's going to occupy, like, all of this space. But that makes sense because it has two separate tables. Let's, um... I don't know where we're going to put a door up top. Maybe right there, but we'll figure out where the doors up top will go later. But we will put a wooden door probably right about there on this end because that leaves three blocks of space in between for that room. And that will be hunky-dory freaking awesome for us. Once that's set up, we will also start mining into the, 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 the mountainside because I really want us to continue to find mineral deposits. And maybe even, of course, this uh, building into the mountainside will give us more room for people to live in, but the, the really positive thing is that it will also give us additional chance to find additional um, geothermal generators, which would be absolutely glorious. So, hmm, let's see. Honestly, it might be a nice idea later on to actually get rid of this wall in general and just expand the hydroponics table upward. That doesn't mean that means we would still keep this part right here, but and of course there would still be a wall right there, but that might be a nice way to uh, use this room because uh, we, obviously this is like the perfect amount of tables for us right now, I think. Maybe even more than enough to be completely honest, but especially since we actually have so much food next time a uh a trader comes by who will actually ask for that kind of stuff we are going to have like all the food in the world to sell them which means we're going to get all the money in the world which is awesome because we already have um, a huge amount and 
Basically, the more the merrier when it comes to those kind of resources, of course. So let's actually expand this just to make sure we have enough room for all of that. Maybe maybe even expand it a bit down like that. And we could turn that turret off as well. I forgot about that. Same goes for you and you. Um, how'd you get over there? Was he really able to come all the way into our base? And look at the rave room! Oh, it looks so cool right now. I cannot wait to actually expand that. Maybe we should get to work on it. Oh my god, um, I really don't want to work too much with flooring, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to have basically no spaces of the two co uh, no two colors touching each other, and we're going to cover the whole room with that. So this is going to be like a rave slash like disco room, and it is going to be absolutely amazing. Like, look already, there's already those three awesome colors matching together. It's going to make this room look so funky, so fresh, and so freaking awesome. I'm already getting really excited about that. We have 400 medals, so I think we should actually go ahead and continue spending stuff now. Honestly, we could consider spending some on the spaceship, uh, but I don't think we should bother with that either until we get the AI core that we'll eventually need or until we um, actually have all of the pieces of it researched because it's going to be... We're actually getting research done really fast, but uh, e even considering how fast that's going to go, it's still going to take us quite a bit of time until we actually complete all of it. So let's go ahead and um, set up another mortar, I think. The thing is... Should we do a regular mortar again or another incendiary? The thing about incendiaries is that I think if we actually had four of them set up, that would probably be like the ultimate way to defeat our enemies, but uh, to crush our enemies, but um, and see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their women. But of course it's one of those things where it would be cool to have mortar as well. Ant mortar is so much faster acting, but... You know what, let's go ahead and set up, let's have two incendiary for now. Because I really think incendiary would probably be more useful fast, I mean, n not faster, but in the long haul. So let's get that built right, built right there. Um, in the meantime, what would probably be a good thing to do? We could continue building this wooden wall up here. I'm just kind of getting worried, to be completely honest. Well, we, we don't need to build a door right now. We'll build a door for those areas uh, in the future. But I'm honestly getting a little bit worried um, about our next fight. Because like I mentioned before, we have so many resources. We could use it to buy another turret, which I kind of want to do, but I also don't. Let, let's go ahead and finally set up this wall right here. Or should we? Yes, we should set up this wall because what that will do is that will roof in all of the areas around here, except for, of course, this area that we don't want roofed in anyway. So let's actually go ahead and check the no roof zone. We could go ahead and get rid of it covering that whole expanse, uh, even one more to the side. So now that's roofed in, and that will be fully roofed in once those walls are finished, and then we can also cover up all of that all of that and uh, all of that so that'll be nice that should make this a hideous environment though so we should probably work on fixing that because of course um, we want to make sure that Wolfgang is happy because we really like Wolfgang we like Wolfgang a heck of a lot so um do we have any doors right there I think we do let's go ahead and check that oh god we don't have doors there did a door break did I sell one because I really feel like we seriously should have had a door placed there because we really actually definitely do want to have those doors uh, and security doors sent there because we want them to um, or power doors because we want them to uh, be the best defended doors actually to be completely honest I'm not sure if wooden doors get that extra 100 health as well 150 250 I don't know if wooden doors have less health then that's the the weird thing I'm this is honestly a wild guess, so I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that powered doors are the only ones that get that health bonus. And that that would make sense looking at their health difference, how that's 250 and 150. I just can't remember if wooden doors already have less health than powered doors, and um, they're both getting the bonus. But I think wooden doors would have more than 50 health starting out. Uh, so I think it is just powered doors that get that upgrade. So let's see! Now we're at 16. 
That was a lot of metal spent, which is both good and bad. Uh, right now, in all honesty, I'm kind of leaning towards the bad, though. It's I'm so irritated with this whole thing because, to be completely honest, I'm terrified. I'm, 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 I, but you know what the thing is? Here's what we should do. We should stop worrying about the, all these kinds of shenanigans because we have done an incredibly good job holding off against uh, pretty much all attack forces that we have had to deal with in the past. So basically, um, I, I think we should stop worrying about uh, enemy attack forces and j just deal with the fact that we should be strong enough to defeat them at this point, I think, because we have... We have, really, an incredibly strong force. If the enemies come in here, we'll just deal with them with those two turrets and all of our people. If they come anywhere else outside, we've got three turrets to parade them with, not considering all of our people. And Lucky himself, j just looking at Lucky, he's at shooting 11 right now, almost 12, so he's getting pretty far. In fact, what are your needs? Ooh, awesome. Okay, since he has um, is in pretty good shape right now, I've wanted him to go down and start shooting these sandbags, because... I think if we shoot those, we should get a little bit of metal. Uh, oh, he actually needs to move down there. I thought when I selected him to shoot it, he would actually go down there on his own. But let's have him, let's have him shoot these. See if he actually, if we get metal from them. Ah, they just break. That is unfortunate. We just, uh, cargo unit. Ah, uranium. That was actually nice. We've really been uh, hankering for some uranium to be able to sell. Let's actually also select to haul any of the um, slag that is... Actually, to be honest, we should probably select to haul any of the slag that is scattered around the map in general. Because there's going to be a lot of it from all these uh, airdrops that have happened in the life of our colony. So maybe we won't get all of it right now, but we're sure as hell going to pick up a lot of it. Could select to pick up just all the debris on the map because we can. Yeah, we can do it like that, but I don't want us picking up all these rocks And then it's gonna take us forever to actually pick up the slag if we did do that because obviously people would be picking up regular slacks as well uh, Rocks as well on the side rather than grabbing the slag It would just be a bad situation really to be completely honest. So let's just focus on the slag Probably isn't all that much left now actually to be completely honest. There's a nice little supply over here so we might as well mark all of that, of course. Oh, shoot! There's a pistol for us to pick up. Why did I think we would actually pick that up automatically? That was, uh, to be completely honest, a rather foolish assumption on my part, and one that I really shouldn't have, uh, assumed. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and mark that thing for pickup. I think that's... Oh, nope, there's some more. I was about to say, I think that's all the slack, or at least most of it. We could probably go ahead and go about, uh, regular things now for the time being. So, that should be a lot of resources for us, to be completely honest. I think if we're not going to get anything from destroying those, it would be nice, actually. Y you know what? Let's actually keep Lucky out here for a bit, and we'll have him shoot those. Uh, I'm pretty sure all we need to do is really watch Lucky for the time being. The reason why I want him to do this is, of course, to gain uh, his shooting ability, increase his shooting ability. Probably won't get him to 12 by the end of this, but might as well, you know, get him to work doing it. Ah! Crow sleep pods are completed, so let's get the antimatter reactor. Probably, um, uh, that's probably something that would be more important than, um, actually the propulsion part. Like, I, I, I think it's one of those things where it's more important to actually get the reactor before you w worry about, um, actually being able to use it, you know? So... Uh, to, to propel the ship or, or move the ship. Sucks that we don't get anything from that, but you know, that's okay. We already got our good uh, from fighting these guys by destroying those turrets. That also gives Lucky some extra skills. Uh, skills to pay the bills. Where are you, uh, Lucky? I just want to check your character. Not quite. Yeah, that barely gave him any experience. That's unfortunate. Lucky, why are you doing things? You... Oh, he ate. Okay, so he doesn't quite need rest yet. That's That's nice, at least. That we don't really need to worry about that for the time being. Let's actually go ahead and select that rock to be hauled. So that should really be hauled out there. Same goes for all of those. And, um... We should probably get rid of the rocks out there. Are there any other rocks chilling on our base? Does not appear so. So that's perfectly fine by us. Alright. 
Uh, what would be a good thing to get next? Actually, let's go ahead and haul out those rocks, otherwise they're just going to be a complete nuisance, because obviously that's gonna slow down our people. Probably get rid of all of those as well, because those are also going to be kind of in the way. So let's go ahead and now start some mining processes. Uh, where would we like to expand? Um, let's see. We probably don't need to expand out from the kitchen, but that is already pretty far back, and I... Part of me feels like the farther back we go, the more reliable it will be, but that's also probably not very true at all. Let's uh, just go ahead and start working not with that space. The thing that we are going to do is any area that we mine out, we're also going to make a room for uh, shortly thereafter. Mainly because of the fact that we, um, we don't want to create in any cave-ins. And really, mining out that bit right there is going to be pretty likely to start a cave in so you know what let's actually cancel that we're going to do it in this spot that's going to be a very bad spot for our people because of course that's going to be a very hideous environment but they'll be able to deal with it for the short time and then disregarding that we have all of these um uh the all of our rooms look really nice like most of our rooms have floorings we can even add a uh the um, wooden floor like I wanted to add in the kitchen here, and that should make people feel happier there. Obviously not as much as the carpets, but we gotta start somewhere. Um, we have 120 metal. Let's go ahead and add... Could we put a metal floor? No, we're not gonna put a whole metal floor down there. That's way too much. Even that is 75?! Holy cow! <laughs> that is so much! Okay, whatever. We're gonna do a metal floor around that then. And one around that one as well. That's 25 uh, or 27 at each one of those positions. We're also going to put it around there, around there. And the mortars, we should cover those as well. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll make me feel that all those things are safe or at least safer than they were in the past. And then I think we should keep the rest of that metal at least for the time being um, to prepare for the future. Wow, they mined that out so freaking fast. I love those two when they're working together. Um, then let's actually go ahead and mine out all of that. That much will be good, because the wall's gonna go across that area anyways. I think, to be completely honest, probably from this point on, the majority of what we're going to use will be wooden floors. Um, because... Uh, sorry about that. Uh, be... Uh, I mean, not wooden floors, wooden walls. Because inside of our base, I don't think we need all that protection, you know? We'll still put, like, metal walls in any rooms that have batteries or something like that, or a geothermal generator, but most of them will probably just use wood, because wood is obviously a much more efficient resource for us to actually use, but we are actually out of wood, and we don't have enough to build the rest of those things. So let's get chopping! Um, in fact, actually, now that we also have uh, the extra resources for it, we gotta get a fertilizer pump set up, so let's go ahead and put that thing, try to have it cover as much room as it can out in that area, and we'll put it right about there. Identical blue- oh, I accidentally pressed it twice. Um, so we'll get that thing out there to obviously grow, uh, oh crap, I shouldn't have built those floors! Because we want trees going out here, can I actually sell floor tiling? Yeah, I thought I couldn't. Ugh, that was really foolish of me. Okay, well, you know what that's just gonna mean? That's just gonna mean that we're not- we're going to have nine spaces on each corner that we will- Ooh, slag! We're going to have nine spaces on each corner that we are not going to be able to grow any trees on, and they'll just have to be perfectly fine. We'll just have to deal with that. Looks like there's already grass growing out here? 50 out of 50, power needed 100. Yeah, actually, I think there's grass growing way up in that corner, which is kind of weird, because you would think the grass would glow, grow closest first, but apparently it's growing rather far away. Maybe sand takes longer to actually, like, mess with than gravel? But then again... I don't know. Who knows? Maybe this thing actually doesn't work on sand. If it doesn't work on sand, I will be very disappointed, because that means we'll probably... That means... Oh, God, look at that fire over there. Hopefully that won't expand too much towards our home. But, yeah, if that doesn't work on sand, then that was both a waste of resources, and that means we'll have to build our tree garden somewhere else, which I honestly don't really want to do. But there are a lot of trees out here. So once again, like I said before, let's go ahead and get chopping. We'll chop down basically uh, most, if not... Uh, no, not all the trees we can. That's probably a bit too much, but, like, we can... 
You can chop down all of those and maybe even a couple more. I like to have so much wood because I like to be in a position where we don't get to the to the spot where we are right now where we actually don't even have any wood left over at all. You know, I, I, I like to have plenty of wood stored up for us. So we're that, that's going to take a lot of time to chop down all those trees, but that'll be perfectly fine and dandy in my opinion. So communication console can probably be turned off. Does not look like that thing is doing anything. Oh shoot, no, I think it is. Oh my god, it must just it must just be very slow acting. It looks like those spaces around it have actually been transformed. I can't quite tell what it is, but can we actually make that a growing zone? Um You know what? Let's just leave that a stockpile zone for now. We'll wait till it expands outside of the stockpile zone before changing that at all. I think that thing is actually going to work. It's just a little slow acting, but not all that bad, really, all things considered. Let's go ahead and select another wooden wall to be built. We'll have it go up here and over there. We'll have a wooden door sitting right there, and then one to match the other side right about there. And that'll be perfectly hunky-dory awesome for that. And then let's go ahead and get back to work on these uh, mining processes up here. What would be a good spot to mine? I think we should consider mi I mean, continue mining back there. Mainly because um, we won't want to mine the rest of this whole area until we actually get those walls down so we don't cause any cave-ins. Granted, since there won't be a lot of people back there, I don't think cave-ins should be much of a threat at all. But still, cave-ins is something that I do not like to um, have as a potential threat. So I would rather just make sure that we could avoid that as much as possible. Especially since people actually did kind of go out there. I want to get rid of a lot of these resources. I actually wish we didn't have all of this food and all this money. Because really, that's what's making uh, our position so threatening to our lives right now. We need to add more wooden floors. So let's actually keep things going for now. Really, no need to pause it. We don't have a wooden floor right there. And I don't think we have one right there. But we can add one right there as well. What is this room going to be? The interesting thing about the spot that we're in right now is that there isn't really... Oh, more people visiting. Okay, whatever. There isn't really all that many rooms that we need to make. We do need to make a freaking um... Uh, a weapons room, though. That would be really nice. Uh, the sad thing is, I don't really want to hold a lot of weapons. At least not now. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, here's the enemies. They're, uh... Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Prepare while they attack a group of pirates. Okay. Oh, God! That is a lot of dudes! Oh, my God. How many dudes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one enemies! Jesus Christ. Okay, what we need to do is... Oh, those are our friends down there. Maybe they can actually help us. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's open the comms. We have so much silver right now. What we're going to do first is... Who doesn't need rest anymore? Okay, you need food. We're gonna wake Missy up for a sec. Hopefully skill... A, a shooting ability doesn't actually count for the mortars, but honestly, just in case, let's also wake up Lucky, and we'll have them both go ahead and eat their food, and then we're going to have them attack. Do they need to be drafted? Yes, they do, it appears so, so let's move Missy down there. Once you're done Lucky, you're going to join at that mortar, and let's go ahead and start firing on these dudes. If they come at us immediately, what we are going to end up doing is is we will uh, call in for help, to be completely honest. Because I think we have more than enough silver to actually recruit people. I think it's only like... Well, it's you could send like 300 as a bribe. Who is our best negotiator? Looks like the one with the highest level. That's an 8, 6, 7. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Still the one who is actually the strongest is Missy! Which is unfortunate because I have him down here. Let's actually send him over there for now then. And uh, Freya. We'll have Freya eat and then have her go down there. Because if she eats immediately after now, she should actually presumably be in a good enough spot to do that and, and be a-okay. Wolfgang, uh, don't go all that far, buddy, please. Okay. Set target. Target down here. Okay, so we could get like that much of a radius. Let's go for the guys mostly centered so we could hopefully do as much damage as humanly possible. 
then we will uh, do one right there as well. Right now, I'm actually kind of wishing we did have an explosive mortar, because if these get it hits hit right on... Oh, come on, come on. How do I have these guys do it? Ah, okay, there we go. Man incendiary mortar. Man incendiary mortar. Come on! Let's see if we get lucky. Will this also send them on us immediately? That's the thing that I'm wor wondering about. Where... Oh, they're beginning their assault. Were we that far off? <laughs> Were we that bad of shots that honestly we couldn't even really see where they went? That would be rather silly. Let's move both of them right there. We're going to move Lucky into that position. You two! You guys need to back on up. Let's put them right there and right there. Apparently they can go in those two spots. I thought Freya was in one of those, but just to be safe, let's move Freya right there. Is Wolfgang is outside. Moving him in as well. Things are about to get seriously intense. Josephine, you shall also go outside. You can take that position. And now, Missy, let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's count a uh, Baker Town. Offer gift 300 silver for 11 goodwill. Baker's Town uh, represents a great... Uh, represent... Res rep uh, representatives greet Miss B. Wainley and asks her business. Uh, there are 33 goodwill. Okay, so let's actually disconnect. What I want to do is check the factions. Oh, really? They're the highest? Oh, good lord. Okay, well, we're asking them for help. <laughs> Offer gift. Bakerstown, improved by 11. Okay. Request immediate military aid. Awesome. That will also give us... No, minus 25 goodwill. Ugh, that part is unfortunate. But honestly, I think we need to do this. They have a lot of dudes in uh, coming in at us. And honestly, we could just add more goodwill later. They're, tw they're 44 right now. So that's a little bit unfortunate that uh, that's going to take a lot. But now we can actually disconnect and send Missy back down there as well. In fact, actually, let's send... Let's put Missy to go right there. We're going to have Lucky go to... Uh, that position probably isn't safe for him, though. We'll, we'll leave Lucky going where he is. And Missy, you could probably take, like... That position? She'll have, like, the worst aim ever, but she'll be safe. And let's see what's going here. A group of friendly outlanders from Biggerstown have arrived nearby. They are moving in to help you immediately. Three dudes! You sent three dudes! Thank you very much! <laughs> they better be good. Pump action shotgun, L15, M. Uh, LMG and Elite Enfield. So those are all good weapons. They've got a shooting five, a shooting seven, and a shooting three. Oh god, that is not up to the par that I was hoping for. So let's... Is there even a point? I don't think there's a point to check all their stats. Let's go ahead and just have this thing go. So now we need to turn on all of our turrets, of course. I really wish we could have gone some more effective mortar shots off on them. But I don't think that's going to happen. Apparently, these dudes are actually going to commence their fight right now. Oh, God. Come on, shoot that dude. Shoot that dude. Can I tell them what to do? Obviously not. Come on, guys. They're just going to die. Oh, my Lord. Okay, we need to slow down time. One of them is already dead. Well, that's a free Lee Enfield for us to use. Uh, this is the other one, and that's the one with the pump action shotgun. Where is the other dude? Is the other dude dead as well? I don't think so. Um, there's four dudes standing over there, but they don't seem to be of any, uh, like, real, uh... They don't seem to be teamed up with anyone. But we're about to kill that dude, Dan. Uh, yep, Dan is dead. Come on, Ros Rosalina. Rosalina's in serious friendly fire, and I apologize for that very much so. Um, but what can we do, to be completely honest? The turrets are probably gonna kill Rosalina right now. Uh, they didn't kill her. I really probably shouldn't have asked for help, but at least now we know how the help system works. And in all honesty, uh, the main thing that we do know about that now is that, uh, when you ask for help, let's have the turret shoot that guy so he- Oh god, actually, maybe not. These dudes look like they are going to come in and help, though, so that's good for us. We actually might be able to be victorious in this fight. They are starting to fire, so that's a big ol' nuisance. Where's the other dude who is helping? Did that person just die as well? I'm really confused about that. Whatever. Another dude dead. Josephine might have taken some friendly fire there. Honestly, it's really hard for me to kind of tell what's going on. Josephine is at 68 health. Lucky is at 82. Sucks that he took a bit of damage. But those dudes are coming out. Hopefully, they'll start helping. Uh, Rosalina, please. What are you doing? I know you only have five health, but don't go inside. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, it is really hard to manage all this right now. 
Uh, Redfields is at 70. Oh, Redfields and Mispy are standing on the same spot. I didn't know... That shouldn't be able to happen, I think. But let's... Uh, they're still being shot. That person, Earl, should be dead any second now. Uh, Mispy over there is doing okay in regards to health as well. 38. Uh, maybe we should move Josephine inside because... Ah! Uh, I was worried about that. Okay, well, the good news is that person is now incapac- Oh no, dead. I thought that person was incapacitated. Who is, like, the second lowest health? Freya is pretty high. Really, everyone is pretty high, and I don't want to take Lucky out of the fray quite yet. Um, oh, that's an ally. I thought that was an enemy. Okay, so that's good because that person's posing at least as a distraction right now. That's also an ally, and that ally is almost dead, but this dude's also almost dead. So, um, oh god, is that- that turret is not near death now. They are fleeing! That actually went very, very well for us. I'm really surprised. We totally messed up with that other colony, though. So, um, hopefully we won't make mistakes like that in the future. Did Josephine die? No, Josephine scientist, she's okay. Let's undraft her, rescue Josephine, and then everything will be happy for us. Oh god, that fire! That fire is spreading like mad. That's- this is the nice thing, apparently. I guess the more enemies that come at you, the earlier they will actually run away. So that's, um, uh, pretty good news, I would say. Another one dead. Another one bites the dust. Let's go ahead and, uh, undraft all of our people, then. So, the nice thing as well, I guess- wait, where'd that silver come from? Someone had silver on them? Weird. Uh, so first those fires are going to be put out, of course, thanks to our lovely, lovely people. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you for doing that, everyone. Uh, now that that area is cleared, let's open this up for the corpses to be carried out. How is our uh, relation with this person doing? Ten. Better than I thought. Uh, I think we honestly should send them some silver, though. Because we would like to kind of uh, fix the harm that was dealt there. And another 300 silver... Not the end of the world, you know. Uh, in all honesty, that actually might help us in some regards, because that might make it so that um, smaller enemy attack forces come in to uh, fight us. At least that's my hope. Redfields, dude, are you? Wait, wait, what? Redfields is a? Uh... I thought Red isn't Redfields one of ours? Redfields must be someone that we met in a previous life then, and that person's just coming back again. Because I definitely recognize the name Redfields. Uh, let's turn our turrets off, because we don't need to bother with those. And then select... Uh, no, get out of there, Redfields, please. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, the silver. Okay, apparently we're going to be have to be very, very specific with our selecting. So let's mark all those. Mark all those as well. Hopefully those bodies will get out of here in no time, but like I said before, the great thing about this is that the only harm that that was dealt to us was worry! Um, one person incapacitated, but it was only jo Josephine, and that's not that bad. W wait, what are you doing? Why are you following Wolfgang? They're fighting! Don't fight! That was a person from a faction, right? Uh, that's not good. I'm not happy with you guys fighting. Well, we got a new prisoner! So Wolfgang might as well capture that dude. Did that impact the faction things? Oh god, must have been the Orange Rock people and now they're in negative 73. Because I'm pretty sure they weren't that mad at us before. Well, you know what? Maybe that'll actually be okay. Why aren't these prisoner beds? Is there no door there anymore? Oh my god, that person must have blown- destroyed our door. What a big old nuisance. That is also why that was made into a prisoner bed before. No wonder. Okay. Uh, so let's put down a wooden door there again. We need that to be built right away. Do we have any wood? Oh, God, we don't. Okay. Well, what that's going to mean is that we're going to have to set up a different, different prisoner room or just wait. So that person is at 11 health. Maybe we will be able to... Uh, yeah, we'll be able to get that built in time. Wolfgang, uh, oh, Mispy is already building that door. Awesome! So yeah, we should be able to, uh, capture that person before anything severely negative happens regarding that. Thank you for grabbing that wood, Mispy. I can't believe Friendly Fire hit that guy. That's always the unfortunate thing. I really, I wish that Friendly Fire wouldn't be a thing like that. Um, like, ba basically, I wish that Friendly Fire wouldn't be this inherent 
basically instant uh, we hate you now. But in all honesty, it does make sense. Uh, so let's get that person. We will set them up to be recruited. Try to recruit and, of course, friendly chat. What do we have down here? Because you captured Bureau... Oh, they're now our enemy. Are you kidding me? What were we supposed to do? What were we supposed to do? They now don't like us anymore? Wonderful. Okay. It was them? Wait, why did these guys hate us? Did those guys already hate us? Now I've got three hostile people when we had two. Why does this person hate us? That's a, They're both tribes. Whatever. We're just gonna deal with it. I imagine... Like we saw in the past, when it's that kind of situation, there's absolutely nothing we can do to make them them like us more. Let's go ahead and check. We are going to call the Orange Rock people because they hate us. Yep, they just disconnect. Okay, well that's a big load of butts. I don't know what the hell happened there, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Because yeah, those guys weren't our enemies before, right? Let's try to make those guys our friends later on, then. That'll, that'll be our one way of making up for all this, I suppose. Trade ship is passing by. They are a food trader. Awesome. Okay, we're actually going to do that right now, then. This is going to be uh, a little bit longer of an episode. We'll call them because we want all the money in the world. Uh, sell them all of our food because we don't really need it. They're buying two for each uh, strawberry, so that's going to get us a ton of food. Could sell them the person as well if they're buying, which they are not. Oh my god, we've got so much gold. Okay, before I forget then, let's go ahead and make that one person our ally. Uh, Billa uh, Vasalo. Okay, that's who we're going to call. Billa Vasalo. They shouldn't... Okay, good. 11 goodwill, so they're now in the positives. They thank us. Awesome sauce. Uh, and I think we will end it there. We Actually, you know what? You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, do we want to do that? I don't know. Let, let's call Bakerstown and just sell them one more. Get them good in our, our uh, get, get them in our goodwill again. One more of those should make them able to send units to us again, if need be. Hopefully we won't, hopefully we won't need them to do that, though. Hopefully we will have enough units to, um, hopefully we'll have enough strength in our colony to conquer the world. In all honesty, I think that battle probably would have gone worse if we didn't call anyone, but those guys basically did no impact whatsoever, to be completely honest, because of my horrible uh, uh, planning for them. We'll, we'll know from now on, if we call in for reinforcements, we should do it after they engage their fight. Like, when they're, when they're probably, like, right about here. So the dudes will come in to help us after... Uh, when when the when the fight is actually when the fight is actually begun rather than them just going to them beforehand and getting absolutely slaughtered but still i was expecting they would send more than 3 people that was kind of absolutely uh, unbelievably silly on their part if if uh for me to say the least so we're slowly but surely getting rid of those bodies that's going to be awesome and good for us uh and yeah let's select that dead body right there I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.